Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. First off, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, everybody that's left a comment. Thank you for that. In fact, today, this act, this video about sheet swapping was suggested by Chaitanya Kulkarni. I apologize, I probably misspelled that or pronounced it. So we've got two worksheets, one that has uh, sales by month, by subcategory, and then sales by state. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to create a parameter that is, I'm just calling it view for right now. You can see it's a type string, and it has a list. So you're going to have two options, either subcategory or state sales. And then we are going to come over and we're creating a calculated field. I did this previously. That's looking at that uh, parameter. So if the parameter is state sales, then we want the word to be state sales. Else if, so in other words, if that doesn't work, if the view is equal to subcategory, then we want it to be equal to subcategory sales over time. And it's a little bit long, but I'll show you why here in a second why we wanted to do that. Now I'm going to come over here to the sheet, and this is going to be important. This is just kind of a data sheet. This has a bunch of the data that we want. And over here onto the right, I've already shown the parameter. So look what happens. It says state sales, and our chart type has state sales all the way down. Subcategory has subcategory all the way down. That's how we're going to get our sheets to uh, disappear. We're going to come over here under substates. We're going to bring chart type over uh, and subcategory sales over time. Click that. And that shows up. Now, when we bring the same filter over chart type pill over to filters, it still only has that one option because that's all that the uh, is available in the parameters. So we'll come back over here. State sales now it just shows state sales. Now when we bring it over, it will show us the one that we want. Okay. I should have probably done that later. I'm gonna I'll do that here in a second, but I'm gonna show you. So now we've got our dashboard. I'm gonna bring over a horizontal container and I'm going to put both of the charts in that horizontal container. I don't want these here so I'm just going to delete them and bring over the state sales resize this a little bit okay and now what we need is we need a uh, I'm going to get another horizontal container right up in here in the middle. And what I'm going to put in here, I always put a blank. It seems things work better when I have a blank in there. Now I'm going to select one of the charts and I'm going to come down here and select parameters because I want to bring the parameter, show the parameter. There we go. Let's see if that parameter, apologize, it's taking a little bit long here. And, okay, good. The view is on this hor horizontal parameter uh, container, which is what I wanted. Now we can come over and bring the chart type up here. Oh, we don't want that one. So we'll have to come over to state sales because that's the one that's selected right now. State sales. Then we're going to come up here. I'm going to change this to subcategory. I don't know if you noticed what just happened there. Subcategory over sales. Now go back to the dashboard. And so when we change this from subcategory to state sales, the different charts disappear. What you need to do is make sure this is unclick fixed and that moves around. Now, part of the issue is these subcat, what's happening there is we're selecting one or the other 
of the parameter which is transferring to the calculated field and that calculated field is being filtered and so one of the when one of the options is selected the other one is not selected and so everything is blank so to get this really where we want it we're going to have to right click hide title and now when we come here this is what we were expecting to see well that's great but you'd still like to have a title i imagine so what i've done i've created another worksheet called uh, title and i've just brought the chart type under the details gone under label uh, actually i've just left it under details and now as the chart chain type changes i should really be showing this That, and that is why I had the chart type, the, the title here, what the value, the string value, was a little bit long. And so that the title will be a little bit uh, more expansive. We'll drop this right in here. And it doesn't fit. I've tried messing with it. Say fit width. And we'll just open this up that up and you can mess around a little bit with the formatting positioning so now we have state sales and the title changes like we would expect to see you could do this with multiple items if you wanted three or four items in your view I'll try and link to the end here we've used the parameters in other cases to change what the dimensions or measures are included or, and uh, in the visual. So there's a lot of things you can do. It's a pretty powerful tool and allows you to use a lot, use your real estate more effectively. Once again, thank you for the comments. Please subscribe. I love to hear from you and hear what you're working on.